In this unit, we will focus on the use of managerial accounting and control systems for decision-making purposes. I am introducing this unit in the front of the CNS Bank building in downtown Atlanta on Broad Street. This is the current home of the Robinson College of Business. The College of Business, however, will soon be moving across Woodruff Park to its new location at 55 Park Place, where I will be introducing the next unit. It will be the 10th location for the college since its inception in 1913. In addition to its many different locations, the College of Business has had many different names over its history. Beginning as the Georgia Tech Evening School of Commerce, it became the University of Georgia Evening School before becoming independent in 1955 as the Georgia State College of Business Administration. As the college expanded its fields of study, it became Georgia State College in 1962 and finally Georgia State University in 1969. The tiny evening business school that began with 44 students is now a thriving research university with more than 53,000 students in 100 fields of study. Through it all, the College of Business has continued to play a major role in the growing university, the business community, and the rebirth of the downtown area. Endowed by a generous gift from alumnus J. Mack Robinson in 1998, the Robinson College of Business is now the sixth largest business school in the U.S., with over 8,000 students at campuses in both downtown Atlanta and Buckhead. Just as the College of Business has changed and adapted over its history, every organization must adapt to survive and thrive within its economic environment. This requires good decision making at the strategic level as well as the operational level. The purpose of this unit is to show how managerial accounting and control systems help the organization make good decisions. In designing the optimal managerial accounting system, it is important to understand what cost information is needed to support strategic and operating decisions. Thus, we will begin by learning various categories of costs. Some cost categories are more relevant than others when making decisions. In fact, some costs are completely irrelevant and need to be ignored to make good economic decisions. For example, past costs that cannot be changed by current or future decisions are irrelevant and should be ignored. Yet financial accounting systems capitalize these sunk costs and allocate them over future periods. Thus, managerial accounting systems must provide different information than the financial accounting system provides. For example, opportunity costs, which are not tracked by the financial accounting system, are important in making good economic decisions. It is especially important to categorize costs by their behavior in relation to production or sales volume. Costs that do not vary with volume are fixed costs, whereas costs that vary with volume are variable costs. Separating fixed costs from variable costs is important because fixed costs typically cannot be changed in the short run, so they are often not relevant in short run decisions. It is also necessary to separate fixed costs from variable costs when applying the cost volume profit model. In this unit, you will learn the cost volume profit model and use it for both strategic and operating decisions. For example, you will use the model to determine the break-even point and the optimal product mix. You will also learn what costs are relevant when deciding whether to make or buy a product, whether to add or drop a product, or whether to accept a special order below your normal sales price. All of these decisions, as you will soon find, will be aided by solid economic intuition and a good managerial accounting and control system.